In this tutorial, we're going to add a shadow to this shoe so that it looks like it's floating. On the layer, I'm going to go to Select by Color Range. Because this image is on a white background, it'll be easier to just select the white and then play with the fuzziness bar so that I've masked out the shoe itself. Then go to Select Inverse to highlight the shoe and use Command J to make a new layer that quickly isolates the shoe from the white background that it's already on. Now I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to call that the background layer. That's going to be the new background that the shoe will be floating on. Um, the white was a little bit stark so I think we're going to use sort of a slightly off white just to stay within uh, the color range there and I'm going to use the paint bucket tool to fill that in. Let's create another layer and this will be called the shadow layer. And we're going to drag it below the shoe and above the background. On this layer, I'm going to use the ellipse tool and create a elongated sort of uh, shape underneath the shoe that will roughly approximate what a shadow would be. Um, right now, it's very, very stark. It doesn't very much look like a shadow. We're going to change that later on. I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur under the filter and convert it to the smart object. Here you can see that it already has a soft blur and I can play with the radius to make it even softer um, because the farther a shadow is away from the object, the softer it'll look. I can also transform and manipulate uh, that element um, and it'll snap back to the blurred version once I apply that form. So we're starting to get a shadow that looks a little bit more realistic. And now we can also play with the opacity to make it even lighter. You can tweak it and change the length, change the height to whatever you think looks best. It'll depend on the photo that you're working on. And uh, I like to go with a very light touch in editing, so this is looking pretty good to me. I can move the shadow just a little bit farther away, and then we can see that we have a very nice sort of floating shoe that adds a little bit of drama and excitement to your product images that previously were just on a white background. 